Good morning. Welcome back to City Line. Well, with me in the studio, um, if you are somebody who is um, a sports fan, but you're also somebody who follows um, hometown heroes who care a lot about where they came from, then this segment is for you. Um, please join me in welcoming uh, Desmond Trufant. He is a Wilson High School alum and the cornerback for Atlanta Falcons. Welcome. Good to have you on the couch. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? I'm going to have you back here every single year <laughs> because everybody in the booth is starstruck, even though you're a Husky. Oh, Go Huskies. Okay. okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's talk about you are here because you have this wonderful sports camp that's a part of the foundation. What's the official title of it? It's the um, fourth annual Desmond Trufant competition camp. Um, it's my fourth year doing it. I plan on you know, doing it for many years, so i um, definitely excited. It's um, July 14th at um, Wilson High School from 12 to 3, um, 9 to 12 graders, you know, uh, giving out a lot of free stuff, so it'd be cool. That is fat. This is your fourth year. Yeah. So first year, you were thinking, okay, we'll try this. What was the response the first year? Um, it was cool. Um, had probably about 150 kids out there. Um, got a lot of support from the community, you know, uh, guys in my family um, came out and helped. My parents, obviously, and foundation people that volunteer helped. Um, had a couple guys, my NFL guys that I played with, um, guys from college helped me as well, too. So it was cool. That's fascinating. When we talk about family, uh, we have to mention your brothers. Otherwise, when you get off the air, they're going to, like, you know, give you, like, a... <laughs> uh, Marcus. Retired Seahawk, yeah. and then Isaiah, who played in the NFL also. Yeah. So what did your parents feed you growing up? To have, <laughs> to have children that, number one, are so physically gifted, but also have such great hearts. Um, well, a lot of seafood, a lot of gumbo, <laughs> like that. You know, it's my dad, he's from um, New Orleans, so. Oh, my gosh. A lot of stuff like that. But, um, yeah, my parents, they're really proud. Um, you know, just like any other parent, they just instilled us to, be humble, respect people, work hard, and you know, good things will come back to you. Absolutely, yep, and there we go. So, okay, so there's Marcus, Isaiah, and then you, anybody else? Um, no, that's it, I'm, that's I'm it. the baby. I'm You're the baby, the baby. Yeah. oh, okay, all right. <laughs> so here we are, Mr. Baby, look at you up in the air. Look at you! Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Now, when you watch this, do you remember all of this? Yeah, definitely. No, not that you don't, because the camera was on your back. Yeah. But like this, do you, okay, do you remember this? Yeah, I remember all this, because, you know, we watch film, um, we watch the games over and over again. Yeah. You know, that's what we meet about. We're watching all everything you guys see. We watch it and try to just perfect what, what we're What were you doing. thinking at that moment? Um, I mean, I'm just trying to make a play. Uh, they gonna come my way, you know, I'm gonna make a play on the ball, pretty much, so, um, yeah. Look at you. You, are you praying there? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's yeah. doing the national anthem, or whatever. I always say oh, prayer, love and, that. you know, just just stay, uh, just gotta stay locked in. Gotta be ready, ready to go. You are, you know. So I, I look at what I just saw, and I think, oh my gosh, you have so many accolades, and you have so much to share. Um, and now you're giving back to your community based upon what you know to be true about playing on that field in Atlanta. What motivated you to put on this camp? Because Desmond, you you could be doing other things right now. We could be seeing you do, you know, commercials. Mm -hmm. But you're back here putting on a camp for kids. Why? Um, it's just about giving back, um, number one, because a lot of people helped me get to where I am. You know, obviously my family, but I had a lot of coaches, um, teachers, just a lot of people that, you know, helped me become the man I am, you know. So it's only right, you know, that I um, try to do the same thing for the kids, mm -hmm. trying to be in my position or trying to do anything in life, you know, just to have a positive role model that they can talk to and, you know, really be able to relate to. So, um, yeah. So what was it like growing up in your family? Because you, you mentioned it's only right to give back. And so my mom ears perk up 
because I have a 26 year old daughter and I think about the lessons that her father and I imparted to her. Mm. So what was it like in your family growing up? Um, you know, um, very loving family. Obviously our parents, they loved us a lot. Um, like any other parents, just taught us to, to respect people. Um, a lot of competition in my family. Yeah, you, know. you and the brothers. Yeah, we were always competing at everything. That's why I call it, you know, the competition camp, you know, because that's really instilled in me as a person. I feel like that's helped me get to where I'm at, you know. So, but um, yeah, we always, we compete in anything, basketball, oh, no. video games, racing, all the time growing up, we was always competing, so. I, I, I really wish I could have been at your house during the holidays, during dinner. <laughs> yeah. I, I I can just see. You. I mean, do you guys? I mean, I can just see you competing to see who ate the most turkey. <laughs> Something like that. I Something think my like oldest that. brother will get that one. He eats a lot. Definitely. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> so, what are the age differences? Are a couple years apart, or because you're the youngest? Yeah, I'm actually ten years younger than Marcus, and I'm eight years younger than Isaiah. So, so. you. When I was jokingly saying that you grew up in a different family, you really did. Mm -hmm. Yet your parents were strong enough to instill those values in all three of you. Mm -hmm. That is outstanding. So you talked about the people who helped you, helped you get where you were. So who's assisting you this year in the camp? Um, well, I got a lot of, um, obviously my parents, um, the True Fund Family Foundation, uh, all the different volunteers we have for that. Um, my brothers will be there, Marcus and Isaiah. Um, Robert Alfred will be there. He's one of my teammates. Brian Poole will be there. Um, Jermaine Curse, Xavier Cooper, Scott Crichton, Cornelius Edison. Um, a lot of guys from the local area, just a lot of local coaches. A lot of the, um, the Wilson High School staff mm -hmm. will be there help, helping me coach. So it's a lot of community uh, support, definitely. Wow, that's impressive. So now that the event has grown and now that you've put it on a few times, do you look back each year and say, just like you review the plays that you that we just saw, do you look back and say, this next year we're doing this different? Yes, definitely. I try to, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist a little bit. You know, I'm always just trying to do things better, you know. But, um, yeah, this year we got a lot more stuff to give out to the kids. Uh, this year every kid will get a pair of cleats, brand new wow. cleats, you know. So, that's cool. I definitely just wanted to give out more. They'll get little backpacks and stuff like that too. So, but it's cool just to watch the kids get out there and compete and stuff. So I'm excited. That's incredible. So Desmond, this you don't just start planning this once you're once you get back off the plane here in Tacoma um, when your season's over. Mm -hmm. um, this has to be has to take a lot of time to plan. Mm -hmm. When do you start planning it, and how much time does it take? Um, it's months in advance, you know, I have a, obviously I have a, a, a agency I'm signed to, so I got people that are working behind the scenes to get all the sponsors, get all the t-shirts, get all the drinks, the water, the food, um, all the stuff we're going to give away, so it takes time. And then um, myself, you know, I got to, I kind of run it like, like an NFL practice, you know, actually okay, what the good. kids are going through, you know, so I plan everything. I, I, I slot thing, the time slots for everything. So it, it's a lot of work, and but it kind of just happens naturally. Once we get out there, the kids, they kind of just take it over and have fun with it, you know, so. I bet, and so how many repeat offenders do you have? Because you've been doing this now for four years. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so if someone started as a freshman, they could be a senior this year. Yeah. So how many how many of these kids come back? Yeah, a lot of kids come back. A oh, I bet. Yeah. I mean, I'd want to come back. Yeah, a lot of them. A lot of them come back. And, you know, some of them are off in college now, you know, so I, I watch them. Uh, I, it's good. That's kind of my favorite part about it is to make a connection with some of the kids, you know, and uh, talk to them. They reach out to me. And um, so, and it's cool to see them grow. Oh I, oh, I, oh, I bet it is. So. When you think about um, um, what it is you want to impart to these kids, what what couple of things come to mind? Well, I think the biggest thing is the the, com the competition part, you know, because mm -hmm. not not just in sports, but you know, broadcasting or you want to work at Boeing or whatever, whatever you want to do, you have to compete. You got to work hard and. 
you got to go get whatever you want. You got to go get it pretty much. So that's kind of what I'm trying to instill in them. That's why I named it the competition camps to, you know, if because there's, there's winners at the end. You know, there's MVPs, they get trophies and more prizes and stuff like that. So um, that's that's really what I'm trying to instill in the kids is you got to compete. Nothing's going to um, be handed to you. I love that. So the camp for boys and girls? Um, we haven't had, actually, we have had some girls out there. We've had. Okay. I believe so, yeah. You have that look in your eye like, yeah. oh, she is going to nail me if yeah. I don't say girls. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. You're like, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh. I see how you did that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, I'm going to hit you here. Yeah. Poof. Well, girls are allowed. Yeah, definitely. You're not saying they're not. So if girls show up, they show up. Yeah. So ladies, show up. Mm. There yeah. we go. Yeah. yeah. If they, they want to come out there and compete, definitely. They're more than welcome. Absolutely. So let's talk about the transition from playing in high school to college. What's the difference that you can think about? Um, well, in high school, you really got no problems. You know, you have nothing I love that. to worry about, really. You're just a kid, just having fun, just living life. But, you know, once you get to college, you know, it's... Is you get you're on the schedule now. You got to wake wake up at six in the morning, five in the morning to go work out. Then you got to go to class. Then you got to come to meetings, and then you know, then you got to study and do get good grades. So you're on a you're really on the schedule now. So that that's probably the biggest uh, difference for for an athlete. You know, you kind of got two jobs. You got you're an athlete, and you got to um, be a student as well too. So that that's the biggest thing. You got to balance your time. And uh, make the most of it. Wow, that, that that boy! I would have ne I would have never guessed the transition was that big. Yeah. I think I had the Hollywood model of uh, kid goes to high school, gets a scholarship on people's shoulders, jumping around, mm -hmm. goes to college, everything is done for them, and then they get a contract in the NFL. Mm -hmm. It's not that way, is it? Definitely not. I mean, they they set it up for you to be successful. Obviously, right? You, know, you have a lot of support. But there's a lot of distraction as well too. So you really just gotta, but you gotta become an adult immediately, Whew. because you know if you just, I mean, obviously you can party, have fun, do stuff like that. But you really gotta set your priorities straight. And um, if you want to make it to to the next level, whether it's uh, in athletics or um, with your schooling, whatever you want to do, you gotta be focused on it. So you were selected uh, first round draft pick. I mean, that's like, in my world, the Academy Award goes to, it is unbelievable. Do you remember that moment? Definitely. Definitely. That was a big moment. That's one of the best moments of my life. There I was go. actually uh, here in Tacoma. Um, they wanted me to go to New York. Actually, you know, they do the draft thing there, but I wanted to be here in my city with all the people, you know, that have seen me grow and get to this point. So it, it was big. It was a big moment. Real big moment, absolutely. Yeah. So what kind of season should we expect from the Falcons? Let's move a bit here because I, I know our viewers want to talk football here. Mm -hmm. um, we got a lot of talent. Um, you know, we just got to stay healthy. That's the biggest thing. But we got talent across the board. So we're young. We got some veterans that um, that are leading, leading the young guys. We got a lot of young talent. Uh, got a great coaching staff. So... Uh, I'm excited. You know, we can go, we can take as far as we want. We just got to uh, come together. Yeah, absolutely. So going into year six, which you are now, you started to take more of a leadership role in the Falcon defense, haven't you? Yes, definitely. Did did that just evolve naturally or were you asked to step up? Um, it just kind of evolved. Um, I mean, obviously the coaches want, you know, the, the older guys to be leaders and to help the young guys, but... It just kind of happens. It's kind of a brotherhood that we created down there. And uh, to always bring the young guys and, and our new teammates along with us. So um, I'm definitely blessed to be in this position because I'm in my sixth year. The average, I think, is like two two years, wow. three years. You know? So I'm uh, definitely in a good spot. You are. You're, you're beating the odds. Mm -hmm. Speaking of brothers, so you watched your brothers, uh, your older brothers, uh, work in the NFL, play in the NFL, what advice did they give you? Um, you know, just stay grounded, you know. Don't um, get caught up in everything that comes with it because, like I was saying earlier, just like college, 
there's a lot of distraction. Well, it's even more now Yeah. when you're in the NFL, you know. So just keep doing what I've been doing, keep a good head on my shoulders, work hard, and good things will happen for me. Absolutely. Do you feel any added pressure this season being the Super Bowl host? Uh, not really. Uh, it's always pressure, you know. I mean, I always feel you create your own pressure, you know. So whatever you're telling yourself, whatever you want to feel that day, you know, that's what it is. So, But we just take it, I just take it one day at a time. And, uh, you know, hopefully we in that game, uh, definitely. Absolutely. So last question here, what are your goals for 2018 season? Um, I just want to improve in every category, um, pretty much st statistically, um, leadership, um, health, mm -hmm. you know, mental and physical, um, just everything. I just want to improve, you know, 1%, you know, in everything, you know, and that – that's a lot, you know, yeah. in, in the game of football because it's a game of inches, you know. So I just want to get better across the board, definitely. You are, uh, you are a big surprise for me, I have to admit that. Um, looking at the, the show lineup and thinking, okay, uh, yeah, I, I know that this person's a hometown hero and very popular, and I thought this, this might be a tough interview. You are such a natural, and you have such goodness. You are one of those spiritual beings. So first off, shout out to your mama and daddy. Mm. They did a very good job with you, my yeah. dear. Yes, thank and um, I just want to say to you, protect your heart and protect your body. Mm. Um, and I know that you have just a short amount of time to do a lot of good things on that field. Mm. And I thank you so much for bringing that goodness back home to all of those kids who would never have a chance to experience any of this mm. if it wasn't for you, your brothers, and your mom and dad. So mm. thank you so much. And I'm going to invite you back next year. And okay. you know what? Next year, <laughs> I want you to bring some of those repeat offenders with you on this couch. Okay, yeah. Okay? I, can try to do that. I would love to have that, mm -hmm. or maybe the ones that are gone on to college. Because mm -hmm. so I think there's a legacy here that we have to open up that would be really beautiful to show. Okay, cool. I can right. definitely try to do that. Deal? Yeah. All right, stay safe. All right, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. My pleasure, it. my pleasure. When we come back after this quick break, we will have Pierce County Elections on to talk about some of the new rules and regulations. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.